Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And uh, this is my kitchen. Well, <laughs> part of my kitchen. The big, messy kitchen. <laughs> Which is where I'm filming from today because this was like the best um, lighting <laughs> angle possible. So weird filming from my kitchen. But for today, I actually want to share something with you guys that I didn't know if you guys knew. So there is a link down below in the description of any video for anyone who wants to open an Etsy store to open their store with 40 free listings. For those of you who don't know, it doesn't cost money to open an Etsy store, but it costs 20 cents of a dollar to upload a product to Etsy, which you need to pay every four months or once that listing is sold. And every person that has an Etsy store can give other people a 40 free listings link to open their store. And when that happens, that person gets 40 free listings themselves. With that being said, I'm kind of wondering how many free listings I have on Etsy right now, uh, given the fact that I don't actually sell anything on Etsy and I'm really conflicted what to start selling. I think I have some thousands of <laughs> free listings because of this channel and we'll actually find that out in a minute because I'm, I'm really curious. I haven't checked that in a long time. In any case, whenever one of you guys opens an Etsy store using my link, I actually get notified for that. And moreover, like I can get, I get two notifications. One, if you just clicked on the link and you're browsing Etsy, and two, if you actually open the store, like if you have a store name and everything. So I was looking at that in my mailbox and I was like, you know what? These people obviously viewed the channel because they clicked on the link and they opened an Etsy store and I want to see if maybe I can, uh, I don't know, help them make it better or just, uh, I don't know, feel proud <laughs> that other people are doing it. So I want to hop into my computer. I will make myself smaller to first share with you guys how this looks. So first you can see here, shop great things from your friends. Thanks to you, Alicia opened their first Etsy shop, Lemon Love Printables. Ha, huh, that's nice. Now I wanna check out and see how many free listings I got before going over several Etsy shops opened by you guys in the month of March. If I go here to my Etsy shop, you can obviously see that I have no products. I was using this to basically share some stuff for the channel, sort of like, you know, designs that I wanna do for print and demand or seamless patterns and fonts. And then I decided to use my Payhip store, which by the way, has its own domain. It's maytribe.com and there is a link to that in the description. But after that, you know, I removed everything here and I thought to myself, you know, maybe I will go back to making printable greeting cards, but recent collaborations and ideas that I have in mind, including the fact that I finally fixed some financial I wouldn't say problem in terms of no money, but like how to use a credit card in various ways since doing print on demand with a supplier, with an external supplier was very hard for me given the fact that I would basically need to go to my bank to sign some papers to make my credit card frame bigger, which is impossible since I'm not currently in my country and I haven't been in my country for a year. And there was problems for me to use my credit card in here, but that is finally fixed. I opened a Wise account and I have a credit card for that and everything is much better now. So given that is an option, I might just opt in to turn this Etsy store into selling my art on print on demand. And of course I'll keep you guys updated. But in the meantime, let's just go in. Wow, I haven't been on Etsy for a long time. Dashboard. How do I have nine visits today? This shop is empty. All right. And I, I kind of want to see how many free listings I have already. Uh, let me just go to, to something that is inactive, that expired. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to renew it. So I can renew it for a total of zero dollars because I have enough credit, but I can't see how many, you know, I can't really see what is the quantity of my free listings. So let me just maybe uh, try to copy a listing because when you copy and you want to publish it, then, you know, it, it, show, it should show me the number of free listings. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have 5,143 free listings. And just think about it because I use some of them, I think, in the beginning of the year. But just think about it. If every time that one of you guys opens a shop, I get 40 free listings, how many of you open a shop? Like over a 100 people 
already open shops with my link. It makes me so proud and so happy. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about you guys. So I want to see what shops you guys opened in the month of March using my link. Let's have a look. First off, we have to the nine shop. And I have here new shop welcome. There is a little rose. That's the banner. But I'm mistaken. It's like the small banner size. I would have opted for the bigger banner size. I don't know if you guys know this, but like originally I wasn't coming from Etsy or from any of this and I didn't start my career as a YouTuber, but I've been working for e-commerce for many years and there is something called banner blindness where people basically ignore banners. That's how, you know, everything started with new media and new ways to market things with blogs and stuff like that. And the old banner of Etsy still kind of looks like a banner, even though in this case you have the white background, so it doesn't really look like a banner. But what Etsy did a few years ago is to add another option, not just a store banner, but also a store cover. Because covers are like the, the wider ones, the taller ones, are more associated with social media. So the, the feeling of purchasing something, you know, from a person, of more of a social aspect. So I would always recommend having a cover photo and not a banner. But in this case, uh, maybe it, it doesn't really matter. And to the nine shop it actually says to the nines here. And the seller is to the nines. Now, the one thing I would recommend is not to have this. I mean, this is your personal bio as a seller. It should have your name, your full name, and a photo of you in order for people to really get that personal connection. Now, what you see here in the tagline, downloadable prints to spice things up, I would maybe try to bank more on keywords downloadable prints and then sort of a comma printable wall art because this part is actually important for seo and we have here zodiac signs printable wall art and we have three other printable wall art signs and we don't have anything here so we don't have any about information we don't have any social links and i would add about information even if you don't have social links you know put that aside but put about information like what is this about what are you about as well as a shop announcement all of these calculate into Etsy to say that, hey, this person is really like pushing into the store and trying to work on the store. It also shows other people, you know, what you're about other than just the prints. And I can also see that you put everything basically without a section, without a category. I would definitely do like a category for Zodiac wall art as well as for motivational wall art because not only will, you know, in time when you add more products, people can come in and browse through what they're interested in but also a category name is a part of Etsy SEO. And I just want to go in and see like, let's go into the Capricorn. So we have this print, order printable, receive instant download email, high resolution. Okay, so you have all the common ratios, which is really, really nice. I love it. I really love that you have all the ratios and the name is also kind of nice. Even though you know what I'm missing here, you're selling printable wall art, and the word printable is not in the name. The name is way too long for it to be effective because Etsy currently prefers shorter names, you know, not to be robotic. And I would literally start it with printable wall art, zodiac sign Capricorn or Capricorn print or Capricorn. Oh, so hard to say Capricorn or Capricorn printable wall art or Capricorn sign, zodiac printable gifts, stuff like that. But seriously, the word printable is not here and it is what it is. Even though it is instant download, but I wouldn't, I would basically say like printable wall art zodiac sign, Capricorn gift or stuff like that and make it shorter and more simple. We have the one by one ratio mock-up here as well as another mock-up and another mock-up. And then you have here a digital download. This is a digital item. No physical item will be shipped. Thank you. You have no idea how much this is important and how to print it what you receive that's nice and order download print enjoy i would maybe add something personal i know that you didn't show yourself here but maybe like uh, thank you for ordering from my shop or for looking at my art something like that but even that is okay the only main issue i can see here is that you can only order one only one is available and that happens if you write down that this is one item in stock or if you write down that the renew of this listing will not be automatic so technically, you made a printable that only one person can purchase. I would definitely say to change that. And you also have three other stuff here. You have work smarter, not harder. I like that. Consistency is more important than perfection. I love it. I love it. 
and a uh, good luck with the store. Uh, I hope. Uh, I hope no one is offended from me giving suggestions out of the blue without you guys applying. Uh, but seriously, good luck with the store. Whoever you are, I can't see the name here. <laughs> Moving on to Shop Seek. Digital print downloads and SVG. From Kentucky. Ooh, Susan. Okay. You have a nice photo, Susan. Hi there. I currently teach online and love making digital designs. My favorite thing to do is travel with my family. Awesome. See, short and painless. Now we have an announcement. Everything is on sale. Check out my new printable, suitable teacher note, substitute teacher note. Happy shopping. I would make the announcement a bit bigger and I would also include here something about printables and stuff like that because the announcement words are actually a part of SEO. I love, love this, love the cover photo. And I also love the logo. It's so simple. It's so, so simple and clear. I love the colors. I love everything. Now, what we have here is first of all, you're also directing to a website called Teach and Seek. So you're obviously focusing on teaching. So we have Talk Derby to Me, Derby, Derby, Thurby. I'm guessing it's a Derby joke. Talk Thurby to Me, Getting Lucky. All of these have nothing to do with teachers, which might be a problem, I don't know, to getting like actual constant choppers. Maybe this is currently trending. Maybe this is currently selling because you already had eight sales. Let's have a look at what you sold. So you sold the Talk Derby to Me and uh, Zelensky Ukraine support. I know a lot of people are selling those right now. I was actually thinking if I want to sell them as well. But the thing is that if you're writing here that you have a website here and I'm looking at your website, which is teachandsick.com, this is about teaching. And I do get why you would put something for supporting Ukraine. I'm not talking financial. I'm talking, you know, because it is important. And uh, I've talked about this several times in the channel but maybe try and focus on teaching stuff because you do have substitute teacher no printable. But imagine a substitute teacher or a teacher comes into this shop because of this and wants to see what else you're selling and then sees SVG of Derby. It's not a good way to make sure that you are centered with your niche. By the way, if this is working for you, the SVGs, maybe keep the name ShopSeek, but turn it into SVGs and don't pay so much attention talking about teacher notes because these are printables, these are SVGs, different audience, different everything. <laughs> well, if you go to the brown with me, <laughs> with a cute, cute little Canva pug, I love this. This is from Promposal. <laughs> I'm not from America, but yeah, I can get that. It's the first time I've heard about Promposal. Uh, Promposal poster. Uh, I'm trying to see if this is like the actual design or the watermark okay it's the actual design i thought this was a watermark um yeah it looks nice you can also print it for a card that's cute maybe i would also add here also the card itself like on the actual photo like right on like poster or card it's actually kind of cute i really like it and you obviously have a lot going on and i think that in, in many ways like let all that you do be done in love Amazing, nice, explore. But I do see here many different topics. So maybe uh, if you focus a bit more, you can just focus on SVGs. I mean, just focus on SVGs and you could be fine as well, or just focus on something, whether it's a topic in terms of the niche and the design concept, like something for teachers, something uh, for prom, or whether it's an item like SVGs or wall art or whatever. In any case, all the best and all the luck to you with this new venture. Moving on to, I don't know how to read this, MBS Holistic Shop, okay. I got a bit flustered here. And this is a total physical item shop. I'm, I'm, I was kind of surprised seeing this on the list of shops that used my link. Uh, I'm not saying bad surprise. Good surprise is also good. Uh, we have Stratford upon Avon. Is that your bio line or did you not have a bio line? I think you don't have a tagline. So the tagline, basically, you need to write down what you're selling. And this uh, mark or this like tree might be nice. But as you can see here, you can't really read the logo. So I would actually put in a logo without the icon or just the icon. And this is owned by Carrie that has no information about her. Give us a few words about yourself. Why not? Like, why are you doing this? What you're passionate about? And we have gift ideas, crystals, and candles. So you're using all of these correctly. They actually have nice stuff. 
Do you ship to Bulgaria? You have production partners. They source the products which are usually handmade or found in nature. I kind of like you have a, sm a smudge kit. What's a smudge kit? It got, got me curious. This kit will help you cleanse your house. The photos are incredibly blurry. Why is that? Let's enlarge this. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's have a look here. This is very interesting. Ah, I'm not going to like this, huh? Okay, we have the Cleanse Your House Kit by a shop called Red Apple, redapplezen.co.uk. We have anything ethical dot co dot uk we have oh wow gemstone oh wow dot com and another store um carrie um you do know that it's illegal to sell stuff you didn't make on etsy right i mean you can sell print and man if you did the design because it's your design but you can't sell, um, you can't drop ship on Etsy products of other people. It's not legal. So I kind of wanted to buy some stuff, but I'm really against, like, you could have a drop shipping store. The other people who I showed, like these shops, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here, they are doing nothing wrong. Seriously, nothing wrong because they are selling drop shipping. Or if it, even if it's local, they're selling it on their own website. But selling items you did not make or had no part in making is illegal on Etsy. Even using the same photos. You know what? Uh, I'm getting a bit upset. I'm going to close this and move on <laughs> to four score, four score patterns, uh, abstract pattern prints from Vancouver, Canada. Um, abstract pattern prints. I I'm missing a shop icon. I'm missing a cover photo. Lady Boss. Hmm. I'm missing a name, a photo, a description. You have a small about as a sewer? Sewer? Did you mean seamstress? Uh, I don't know. I kind of see sewer and I think about, you know, sewer. <laughs> um, I love abstract fabric. Um, as a matter of fact, most of my fabric stash is just that abstract. Looks kind of nice. And I can definitely see this like procreate. Definitely, definitely see this from procreate from the liquify effect. And I love it. We have abstract, fiery, seamless pattern, fabric pattern, repeating pattern. And you're talking also for commercial use. And this listing comes with a license for personal commercial and limited commercial use to be used by small business to sell up to 1000 units in total. Is this, uh, for print on demand? Uh, uploading to print on demand sites such as Society6, Redbubble, etc. is not allowed. Uploading to print fulfillment sites as Printful, Merch by Amazon. Uh, Merch by Amazon is also, by the way, like the same as Redbubble. It would be a marketplace. Is not allowed. Uploading and selling on Spoonflower and other resemblance is not allowed. Okay, so I, I would love to know what is the commercial use. Or maybe you can just uh, specify this. It looks, it does look nice. I really do love the patterns. I might not sell them as high up because they're really expensive for twelve and a half dollars. I might offer them for a lower price with an option to get a commercial use license. They are cute. I think that I would put uh, one of the main images to be like, for example, one of the items instead of just the pattern. I don't know, just to be a bit more aesthetic, but it does look nice. Uh, you also need to have some categories, you know, for SEO, same comment as before. Uh, and more things in the shop, like announcement, uh, photos, logos, and stuff like that. But it does look kind of cute. I really like the style. If you yourself uploaded these things onto Society6, I would love to see it. Also, you can have a link to it here. And I would also suggest links to social media. Moving on to magical affirmations. Okay, I remember looking at this shop and I was like, oh my God, someone did a lot of work. <laughs> This shop is insane. Let's start with the fact that this is one of the best cover photos that I've ever seen. We're talking about children's positive information books, greeting cards, journals, and stickers by Alexandra from Oregon, United States. Hello, I'm a creator of Magical Affirmations. I love writing books for children and creating greeting cards. That's awesome. 
I moved to America as a young child from Romania. Ah, what a best school of Alexandra. Um, my passions include play therapy, reading, la 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 la. That is very nice. And we have here 23 sales. Oh my God. When did you open this? <laughs> That's insane. That's so nice. Um, I like this one. I am safe journal. What is I'm safe journal? Oh, this is so cute. I love this. I really want to know <laughs> what supplier you're using. Uh, I, I didn't share this in the channel already because I'm waiting for the items to arrive, but I ordered a test product from Blurb, <laughs> like printed on me, sort of KDP, but you know, without getting accepted to KDP. Um, I love this. So much. Of, this is like gorgeous, gorgeous. Such beautiful work. I love this. Six by nine inches. Do you ship to Bulgaria? Oh, this doesn't ship to Bulgaria. It's so cute. And um, let's go back to the store. Notice what you're selling. We have downloadable cards. Okay. You've got this. Yes. Oh, I love this. I don't even know why, but I love this. Oh, wow. It's so cute. So basically you have the first one and then another mock-up and then you show what people are getting. And then these are kind of generic. Yeah. I think I saw them in, in multiple ones, like sort of the end of everything. And it, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. I love this. Um, I seriously love everything you're doing. You have such beautiful cards. They are so pretty. I believe in you. Oh, oh my God. Are you illustrating this? If you're seeing this, Alexandra, did you illustrate this? Is this from, uh, what? These are seriously good. I adore your style. I love this style. So good. Let's see what else we have here. We have children's picture books. Oh, that's nice. We have journals, like physical journals, downloadable stickers. Oh, wow. Wow. I love it. I love how the fact that, you know, this is being used on a card and, and now you're using it for stickers. These are absolutely stunning, stunning. And you have a PDF as well as for Cricut. Amazing. These are so good. Stickers, kids, whimsical. We have Easter cards. Oh, this is so cute. Even though I don't, you know, celebrate Easter, but these are adorable. And with the downloadable cards we have here, you can do anything. Oh, wow. I really like these. These are really nice. You are lovable. Oh, wow. Everything will be okay. I just love this one so much. I don't even know how to explain how much I love it. Uh, maybe I will just, uh, you know, buy it. <laughs> if I love it so much. And we did it! I want to see this. I want to see this so much. Hang tight. Your files will be ready to download in a few minutes. What? What do you mean you need to confirm my payment? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? I paid with PayPal. Don't you just get your money? Uh, let's just download it here. Oh, I already did. What's wrong with me today? Uh, so thank you, Alexandra. Um, you are uh, from Romania, right? So, uh, <laughs> uh for this gorgeous thing. Uh, I definitely think that I will uh, print this. I think I kind of want to have it um, as a postcard or something. Uh, we're going to move to a new apartment in about two weeks. I don't know if you guys know, like I, I kind of updated when I was talking about the goals for the month of uh, April. I did like a video with a lot of your questions. So a lot of you guys have asked like why I keep moving, but we're going to, and, and I answer that there, um, but we're going to move in about two weeks and I really want to style my apartment. I want to have like a wall behind me where I'm filming with like a bunch of wall art and print demand related stuff or things from you guys. So um, I'm definitely going to be printing this out and have it in my background. So thank you, Alexandra. You made my day. I don't think that I need much more to review a shop that just made me want to buy. So let's move on. Moving on to dog house <laughs> designs. And in the tag here, just write what you're selling. So in this case, you have here printable greeting cards. So just write printable greeting cards to instant download and print at home or something like that. This is from, is that Justine, right? Like with an E at the end is a woman. I'm, I'm never quite sure. We don't have a photo. We don't have info. Uh, that would be a nice thing to add. 
I like the logo, even though um, I might have made it a bit bigger and then made the background white. So it kind of looks like it's the actual logo floating there without the square. I would have preferred that. And of course, a cover photo. Um, say 15 on orders of five or more cards. Uh, are you writing this inside the card? Let's have a look. One card. This Is this for my tutorial? <laughs> it makes me so happy when I see people do stuff for my tutorials. It's really cute. I would add the discount here. I mean, you're looking at this here and you're like, ah, yeah, you know, from the shop, they can have 15% um, off. But the thing is that um, if you have actually like something about this here, then people will be more inclined if they find this listing to actually go into your shop and search for more cards. You have here Easter greeting cards and everything, by the way, is on sale for 25% off. So you have here Easter greeting cards. They look kind of nice, even though, again, I don't have anything to do with them. And anniversary cards. What is that? Why is there a pickle? I want to see all of them. I want to see all of them. Let's close this one. There's no one else I'd rather leave parties early with. <laughs> I would say this is like really good for me and Misho, even though we haven't actually gone to a single party. <laughs> we don't need to leave early because we just don't go. I think we do more like nature stuff. I uh, also like it's really crazy here in Vansko now. It's a lot of tourists. So I reckon that once they leave, we'll go out more. Thank you for always giving me the pickle off of your plate. Oh, I would totally give it to him if I actually found pickles in Bulgaria that are not disgusting to me. I just don't know what to buy. <laughs> Everything is in Bulgarian. Uh, happy anniversary. There is no one else I'd rather. Dutch oven. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> anyway, um, happy anniversary. I'm grateful that some nerd wrote the algorithm that matched us. Um, so actually, I don't know if you guys know, but me and Michelle met at Four Leaf Clover, which is um, the complex that I lived in, live in actually right now <laughs> in Bansko. And um, technically he came here, uh, you know, because of the website, you know, he saw it's for nomads and booking apartments. And I built the website, so technically I'm the nerd <laughs> that matched us up. Um, but this, these are really cute. I would go more with anniversary. I think that anniversary is like, it's one of those evergreen niches. And I would definitely do, you know, some other, maybe birthday and some stuff. I think you really have potential. In terms of the design of some of these, I would definitely move some of these, like from the edges. Like this is really close to the edge. Maybe I would rather move it a little bit. And I might also want to have the other side of the card also in this color and not just white on the other side. Just, uh, you know, thinking out loud here. But again, this is a really, really, really cute. I love, I love this. Congratulations and good luck with your store. Last but not least, we have the store that I showed you at the beginning from the email, which is Lemon Love Printables. Life printables and educational printables. Life, do you mean like wall art? Uh, I would be more specific with life printables because I don't know if anybody's looking for that. You have lemon love printables here. I would maybe remove the lower line that says lemon love printables and just keep this and center this because it, this is really hard to read, especially if you're from mobile and you have it here anyway. So, but the logo itself is like really good. And this is by Alicia. No photo, Alicia, and no information. Uh, you have counting words and planner. Okay, uh, when I go to words, we have word tracing and maybe do um, alphabet worksheets. At, I would do like printable tracing sheets or tracing sheets as a category for them. And maybe printable educational games for kids as the other ones. Planner, so we have printable planners as a category name and counting. I would definitely do something like um, math games for kids or learn calculus for kids and stuff like that. You do have cute stuff, I do have to say. I love this game. Uh, I actually went over this uh, before and I was like looking at this and it took me a while to actually realize that it's not all dogs. I know the game. I mean, I know these sheets, but I, I really love those. I really love Circle the Correct Number of Fruit. This is like really nice work. The only thing that's a problem here is that it's one. So like, what if I want to buy more? Uh, I would definitely add the option to, you know, more stuff of every kind. And I saw that you did the tracing words. So we have here 54. 
Ah, it's 54 words. I thought this was like 55, 54 sheets of tracing the letter C. Um, I think that with word tracing or with letter tracing, I would definitely do at least one, uh, bundle or something for tracing the letters of the alphabet like tracing all of them uh sort of like you know just the a b c d like like a sheet for each one or you know just a bundle for tracing the words all together but i do like this idea this is actually pretty good i think you can really brand yourself as an educational shop this looks really nice this looks really professional and I love it. it. Looks really good. I also think that the educational niche will do you good. The planner might not be like as much relevant as the other ones. And you do need to work on your categories. But this is really, really cute. I would also add a cover photo as well as about information announcement. All of these are actually important for buyer psychology and for Etsy. And I do believe that this was the last store I would like to again say thank you Multumesk in Romaneshta to Alexandra for everything will be okay. This is gorgeous design and I can't wait to print it. But uh, you know what? Let's just uh, make myself bigger for a second so I can sum up this video from my kitchen and say goodbye. By the way, if you like this video or found this content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I'll be seeing you guys a lot this week. I think I have a lot of videos that I want to film. I'm not going to sh share the topics. A part of my resolution uh, for April was to be sort of less transparent or less planned with this channel in order to, you know, allow life to happen. But I do know that I can tell you from like right now that right after finishing to film this video, I'm actually going to film two other videos relating to purchasing stuff from Fiverr. I want to test out some cool stuff from Fiverr. And I also want to show you guys Fiverr as an option for you guys to sell on if you can do any kind of seamless patterns or print and demand items. Maybe it will be a nice way to make quick money. I do have more videos planned out. I have more collaborations with more print and demand suppliers, a lot more products that came to me, and I still need to review. And hopefully this will be done in the next few weeks. And I would like to say good luck to everybody that opened a shop with or without my link and to everyone in this video. And you know, I love you guys. Uh, but with that being said, that was it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!